Hi everyone and welcome back to What's Cooking in Lakeville. I'm Jessica Bradley and I am joined today by a very special guests. My kiddos Abigail and Benjamin and we <laughs> and they're really excited and think it's really fun. Um, <laughs> and we're going to be making one of our family's favorites for you today. Make your own pizzas and a nice salad with some homemade balsamic vinaigrette. Now we do make your own pizzas, what do you say guys, at least once a week, right? Um, you okay, Benny? <laughs> and um, it's what we love it because you can kind of do individualized um, toppings and everyone gets what they like. So we're going to get started. I'm going to bring the dough over. Okay, so we need a couple of baking sheets. We need some cooking spray and some olive oil. Thanks, bud. And some garlic powder. Okay, so what we usually do, because it's easy and because it's really inexpensive, is we usually buy pre-made pizza dough in the deli section of the grocery store. Sometimes you can find it in the prepared food section as well. Something else that we do sometimes, because my husband's the expert bread baker, he'll make, our, he'll make dough for us sometimes, but more often than not, we get this stuff. Um, so, and it comes in, it just comes in a package, and they're really inexpensive, usually less than $2. Um, and we buy, and one will feed our family of four. Now, it comes really tight in a ball, and what I do is I, the day that I know that we're going to be making pizzas, I take it out and I let it sit on the counter so that it has a chance to rise and get really fluffy. And it looks like this. It gets huge. Um, so what we're going to do is cut this into four because it's usually our family of four and we usually don't press down on it too hard because you know what happens then buddy all the air that's making it fluffy puffs out everyone's going to have a chance to spread their own pizza and put their own toppings on so watch out for your fingies babe okay so i'm going to cut this into four equal slices we'll get a little sprinkle of flour that's what we do so that it doesn't get sticky okay you need a little more okay let me get this out of the way If you have a little bit of flour on your board, buddy, what you can do is just rub it around and just make sure it's not sticky, okay? So this dough is super light and fluffy. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start by taking our fingers and going around in a circle and kind of stretching and pulling as we go. Well, you know how big. I don't know, nice and thin because we like it thin and crispy, right? So, yeah, of course you can. But if you need some help, I'll help you, buddy. Okay, well, do, it, do your best, and then once I'm done with these, I'll give you a hand, okay? <laughs> All right. And sometimes what I like to do is I like to just get my fingers in the, that's looking great, bud. Get my fingers in the middle and just gently pull it. Okay. I'm going to set up our baking sheets with a little bit of cooking spray. Here we go. We love bubbles. Okay. So when they get to the kind of the size and the thickness that you want, and we like it thin. Yeah, that looks pretty good, Ab, actually. Put it on the baking sheet. Okay. Let me see. I'll help you, Ab. Okay. How you doing, Benny? What's your favorite thing about making pizzas, guys? Eating them. Eating them? <laughs> What's your favorite thing about pizzas? Making pizzas? I don't know. I think I know what yours is. Stealing chunks of mozzarella cheese. I'm going to give you guys each a drizzle of olive oil on each one of these doughs, okay? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to ask you to use your clean hands and spread it over. Now, what that's going to do for the pizza like is give it a nice, toasty, golden brown base to put your toppings on. Yep, you go for it. Spread it. And you know what I like to do sometimes when, when we're spreading this is I like to kind of finish the stretching of the dough on the baking sheet to get it to the consistency that you want. So I really work the olive oil into the dough. Okay, and then what we do is we poke some holes to allow for any air to escape so that we don't get huge bubbles. Okay, go ahead. Abby, you can do yours. And once those holes are poked, 
I'm poking bubbles already. There you go. Poke the bubbles out. Now give this one some. Once the dough has all the holes in it that it needs, we're going to sprinkle it with some garlic powder. I'm and I'm going to do this. Okay. It looks like there's a couple holes right there. And what the garlic powder does, it just, it just adds another layer of flavor to the crust. Okay, those look great, guys. Those look great. Okay, so we're just going to sprinkle that. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Maybe we'll put some sauce and cheese on your hand. Do you see it? Is it all over it? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay, so what we're going to do next, we're going to actually pre-bake these um, these crusts before we add any toppings. I like to do that because it gives the chance the crust a chance to get crunchy. And if you don't do that, if you skip that step, sometimes it can get like soggy underneath the sauce, and it just adds it just adds a nice um, texture to the crust. Okay, so these will go in probably for like five or six minutes at a 400 degree oven. But while those are baking, what I like to do is I like to get our toppings prepared for putting on to the pizzas for when they come out. So everyone in our family likes their own individual toppings. Abby, what's your favorite? White pizza. Abby loves white pizza, which consists of what? Um, cheese, dough, cheese, and basil. Dough, cheese, basil, anything else? Olive oil. Olive oil. Ben's favorite is what we like to call saucy pizza, and that consists of lots of marinara sauce and mozzarella cheese, and sometimes some basil. Right, buddy? Do you like basil sometimes? Just a little bit. A little bit of basil. So I'm going to get the mozzarella cheese, and this is where the kids are a huge help to me. They each have their own knives in our family, and they're not sharp. They're just sharp enough to cut soft mozzarella cheese. So we have two balls of mozzarella cheese. Um, Sure. Um, I like to get these again. It's right. They're usually right near where the pizza is, but they're the um, they're the more fresh mozzarella versus um, like the shredded kind that you get in the dairy section of the grocery store. So I'm gonna give the kids a piece of cheese to slice, and what are we gonna do? We're gonna slice it as what thin as possible. Okay. Um, and that's what I like to do. I like to slice it nice and thin. Because a little goes a long way. And, you know, typically one ball of cheese will be fine for our family of four, but I did two today because the kids, yes, like to snack on it. So as we go. Can I have this? Yep, you may. So we're going to cut up this cheese. And we're going to set it to the side in the container. Now, you heard Abby say that her, one of her favorite things on her pizza is basil. Uh, yeah, we'll go out and show everyone where, the, where our, we grow our basil in a few minutes. Um, I picked this basil from our deck top herb garden this morning, um, and we love it. We use tons of it. We're going to use some in a salad in a little while, um, but for right now, we're going to just cut this up. Um, you guys want to pick? You guys want to cut some? The basil. Yeah. Okay. I want a little piece. Okay, I want a little. Not that. Yeah. Let's How about that big? Okay. Here, Abs, you slice them up for your pizza. There you go. And I, my husband and I love basil on our pizza, too. And I'm going to show you guys a really delicious topping that we like on our pizzas. Okay, so I'm going to throw the stem of my basil into, this comp into my compost bowl. And you guys know about my compost bowl that I use when I cook. Um, I throw all my compostables into the bowl, and when we're done, I usually don't bring it out, but my husband usually brings it out for me, um, to the compost bin. And a little bit later, I'll show you guys our gardens that really took flight this year, and we really think it's because of the compost. So, yep, you can add your basil to this bowl, guys, when you're done cutting. All right, so what I like to do when I cut basil is I like to pile the leaves up all in a little pile and roll them up into this little bunch. It looks like a little tube. Can you do that to me? Why don't you pile them up and try to do it yourself, no, buddy? And then I just run my knife through it. And then when you're done, it creates these little ribbons. I think the fancy word is called julienne. Is this, is this what it looks oh, like? watch, watch out for your is fingers, honey. Like? Yes. Yep, good job. See? And it's just a pretty way of cutting basil. Mama, can you do that for Mimi? Let me see. I'll do that right here. Do you want me to roll it up and then you cut it? Yeah. Okay. Here you go. 
Here you go, buddy. Hold it and then cut it. One thing I love about having my kids in the kitchen with me is that it really engages them and in, lets us engage in a different way. Um, they learn something. They're learning a life skill, and we get to spend really quality time together free of distractions and just be able to talk and, and you know, connect with each other. And it's a really, really nice way to do that. Okay, so here's our salad. But before I do that, I am going to just check those pizzas and check and see how they're going. You can see that the ones on the bottom are starting to get nice and browned, and that's be just because my oven, the way it, the, where the heat is um, mostly concentrated. So what I'm going to do is just pull these out, and I'm going to just check the bottom of them. Let's see. So they're starting to get a little bit toasty. Let me check the top ones, too. And this is what you're looking for. See, these ones aren't quite ready yet. They're still really light on the bottom, but these ones are nice and um, golden brown. Ooh, that's hot on my fingers. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch them around and give this one just another couple minutes to get toasty on the bottom. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to just quickly make our salad, and this will give us just about enough time, I think, that the pizzas need um, put it together. So yesterday I went to Elliott Farm, our local farm, and I picked up some beautiful, beautiful um, produce that I'm going to use in the salad today. But first, I'm going to show you guys another dressing. So you've already learned about, um, in the Cinco de Mayo show, you guys learned about a honey lime vinaigrette. And in our first show, I think it was a maple mustard vinaigrette that we did. So today we're going to do a traditional balsamic vinaigrette, and I need you guys to help me with that, okay? The one that we always do. The one that we always do. This is Abby's would, favorite. We call this brown dressing in our house. So we're going to get there in a minute, okay? So for the vinaigrette, we're going to move this stuff to the side. Okay, let's bring this up. We need some salt. Yep. We need a healthy pinch of salt in there. Okay, that's good, Ab. Yep. Now, Ben, we need some cranks of pepper. Maybe five. Two, three, four, five. Okay, Abby, we need about a teaspoon and a half of Dijon mustard. I'll tell you when. It's a good squeeze, Ab. Good, perfect. And Ben, now we need, this is the best stuff ever. We get this balsamic vinegar at our local Italian specialty shop, Tutu Italiano. Um, it is so good. So this is what we use. This is like, I don't know. Liquid gold, it's so sweet. Do you want to pour it in, buddy? Okay. I'll help you just so it doesn't go too fast. Okay. Here we go. Probably about a, I, I don't know, quarter, quarter of a cup. I cut the mustard. You sure did. Okay, and what I like to do is I like to whisk these four ingredients together first. And then, oh, I'm going to just whisk it up, honey. I'm going to drizzle in olive oil. And I like to do about, um, here buddy, you whisk while I drizzle. You want to help drizzle up? Yeah. Um, I like to do like equal parts oil and vinegar because I like more of a tangy dressing. Um, but that's just our family. You can actually do it to your taste. Okay, that looks good. Okay. Oh, we don't want to get that on anyone's clothes, right? Okay. So that's the dressing. And you know what I'm going to do actually right now is I'm just going to pull these doughs out because I think they're done. What we're going to do, just um, real quick, is finish the salad and then we're going to top our pizzas and get them in the oven. So Abby and Ben, I'm going to give you each a piece of cucumber to peel for mommy. You guys remember how to do that? Yep. Okay. So I always let the kids... Um, Help me in the kitchen, whether it's peeling or chopping, obviously supervised, but I think it's great to get them um, engaged doing that at an early age. So what we like to do, we just like to take the skin off our cucumbers. Um, you don't have to, but we like to. Do you want some help, buddy? And you can chop this one for me while I take that skin off? Here you go. Why don't you chop that cucumber for me, and I'll take the skin off for you. Oh, that's okay. A little bit's fine. All right, so I'm going to chop these cucumbers. Put the skins in the compost bowl. You need the bowl, Ab? Okay. Throw your skins in the compost bowl. <laughs> well, you know what? 
That's another thing about having the kids in the kitchen with you. The dogs love it. Because when things hit the floor, it's like instant treats for them. So, okay, let's chop up our cucumbers. Nice. You got a mats? Okay. Good job. Hey, Benjamin. Excellent job. I love your own unique spin on it. So this is some green leaf lettuce that I picked up at Elliott Farm yesterday when I was there. And their lettuce is so delicious. It just tastes like the earth. It's so, so good. Um, go for it, buddy. Um, when I get it home, what I like to do is I like to take the whole head of lettuce and thoroughly, thoroughly wash it and then dry it. And I store it in my fridge with a paper towel around it in like a freezer storage bag. That way it's ready to go. And I find that um, it lasts longer that way too. So how I like to cut this lettuce, again, I like to pile it up in a pile. Ab, do you want to do some of this for me too? Sure. You want to make a pile? Yeah, make a pile. Okay, Benny, I'll take you cue because you want to cut some lettuce too? Okay. Um, I'm going to take the cue from my boy. All right. We'll make a pile, and I kind of just fold it over, and I like to slice it in long slices. Pretty thin. And where these are, oh, watch out for your fingers because mommy has a sharp, sharp knife going. Um, where these leaves of lettuce are fairly wide. I'm going to slice it Second. going across. Yep, that's good. But now um, what we're going to do, Abby, is slice it down the middle too so that it is in bite-sized pieces. And then we'll just put it in for our dressing. Okay. It looks perfect. Now let's pile the cukes on top, guys. Okay. Another ingredient that I love are green onions in a salad. Um, they add a nice savory quality. I think I've mentioned that to you guys before. Um, and I got this, yeah, you can, buddy. I got a beautiful, beautiful batch of green onions at Elliott Farm yesterday. I couldn't resist them. They were just gorgeous. So I'm going to use some of these in the salad, too. You want to cut some? Sure, you want to cut some, Ben? Okay. You do this one. You do this one, and I'll do this one. I like to slice them fairly thin. Because no one wants a, you know, can you put them in the compost bowl for me? No one wants a huge, no one wants a huge chunk of onion in their mouth. So I like to slice these nice and thin. Even though they're sweet, it's still good just to get a hint of flavor. Okay. Add them on top when you're done, guys, okay? Okay. Okay, while you guys are finishing, I'm going to just clear up a little bit, okay, so we can get the toppings. Clean up. Yep, I'm going to clean up. <laughs> I'm going to clean up so we can get the toppings um, on the pizzas, okay? Okay. I just wanted to show you before we, I'm going to take you guys on a tour of our um, garden in a little while, but this was what we harvested from our tomato garden yesterday. Actually, Benjamin did. And his friend. And his friend, yep. Um, I think this is an early girl. These are the sun sweet. These are the sun golds, these are the super sweet 100s, and these are black cherry, cherry tomatoes. Okay, so that's the salad. So we'll toss it right before um, we eat. Oh, I forgot and, my green onions. Oh, add them in. And um, I didn't man mention it before, but like I've done in the past, I, we make the dressing in the bottom of the bowl, then we pile all the ingredients on top. And then we it can, toss. And then we toss. But it can sit like that for quite some time. I mean, I could make this a couple hours in advance, and then when you, t you can toss the salad right before you're ready to eat it. Okay, so now that the salad's done, we pulled our pizza crust out. We're, we're now we're going to, um, the fun part, right guys, is putting the toppings on. Decorating our, pizza. Decorating our, pizza, our pizzas, that's right. So I'm going to bring the, the crusts over. You can see that the pre-bake gave them a nice golden um, top and as well as, a as the bottom. Um, this one's stuck together. The, oh, it's a little stuck together. So that's, that's going to um, help us in the long run because all we have to do now is kind of put the, put the toppings on and then and heat them up basically is all that we're doing. Okay, so here's the fun part. You're doing what, Abby? White pizza and saucy with onions and peppers. With peppers and eggplant for daddy? Okay, Benny, you're doing? Saucy with lots of matzah? Okay, so what I like to use for sauce for our pizza, and I think sauce is, the sauce you use is super important for your pizza because it can totally make or break it. 
Um, and it's a totally a personal taste. I like to use our favorite marinara sauce that I just buy in the jar at, a gro at the grocery store. It's a good one. It's one with very few ingredients, just tomatoes and olive oil, salt and pepper, um, some basil and onion. Um, but whatever is your favorite, you should use that. Okay, so um, Ben, which one of these is yours? This one? How about that one? And Mommy will work on this one. So why don't you take your, why don't you spoon some sauce, so I'll actually spoon some sauce for you. And then you can start spreading it around, okay? Abby, you can get going on your cheese. I'm going to get going on sauce on mine. I, I want to help you put your peppers in um, okay, Mama. Yep. I think I need a little more marinara. You want a little more marinara? Okay. Okay, go ahead, buddy. Why don't you put some mozzarella on yours? And Mama, I want to have a basil. Okay. Okay, you can put that to the side and use that for Daddy's pizza. Now, Daddy wants sauce, sauce right? So I'll give you some sauce. You can spoon, you can spoon it around. And he wants Here you go, babe. And, and if you need more, let me know. All right, I'm gonna put some cheese on mine. This is my favorite pizza. It's sauce, yeah. mozzarella. I'm making the same thing as. Me. Yes, you're making the same as me. And yesterday I roasted up some um, eggplant and red bell pepper. And basically all I did with that was take some olive oil, salt, and pepper and put it in a 375 degree oven for probably about 20 minutes. Um, and I just kept turning them over and so they wouldn't get burned on one side or the other. But these are so delicious on pizza. Sometimes we make these pizzas on the grill. Um, today we're just doing them in the oven. There's no right or wrong way to do this. You just spread the toppings on as much or as little as you want. Okay. Sprinkle the basil. Sure. Okay, here you go. Abby, sprinkle, take your basil and sprinkle it. Yep, but you can do the basil first, then we'll wipe our hands when we're totally done. We love Parmesan cheese, all of us, except for Ben. So usually Benjamin moves away when we do the Parmesan cheese. Abby's going to put grate some Parmesan. You can use any type of Parmesan you want. I like the kind that comes in the block because um, I feel like it's... Ben. I feel like it stays... Um, better, longer, um, but if you like the kind that comes in the can or the kind that's already grated in the bag that you find in the deli section, then go for that too. A little on mine. Don't get any on mine. Okay, Mama? Okay, Benny. You can actually put some on mine. You I want like a little bit, buddy? Yeah, he likes it cooked. Okay. Yeah, because it's salty and good. It, it, you know what, Ben? That's exactly right. It's salty and good. Okay. the same thing, but it's just the same thing as salt, but a little, just a little more. Yeah, a little more spice. It is a little spicy. So the last thing that we do is we do a drizzle of olive oil right on top because it just makes everything meld together really delicious. So I do do it like that. A nice drizzle. What, buddy? Yours looks very, very colorful. It does, doesn't it? So I always say you eat with your eyes first. And I think these pizzas are a real good example of um, being enticed with your eyes before you even taste it with your mouth. So they're beautiful and they're delicious. All right, let's get these in the oven, okay, guys? You hold that and you stay right there because I don't want you to get burned, honey, okay? So like I said, thanks, Ab. Um, my oven, um, the temperature kind of varies within my oven. So about... I think I'm going to maybe take a look at these about halfway through, and you might have to switch them just depending on how your oven cooks. So we've made our pizzas. We've made our salad. Now we just have a few minutes while we wait for the cheese to melt and the sauce to get bubbly and everything to get ooey-gooey together. And the kids and I thought it would be fun to um, take you guys out back and show you our garden. So you see the kids right now in our tomato garden, and I can't take any credit for this. This is all bread baker. Bradley, my husband, um, <laughs> um, he totally took, built this whole raised garden bed, um, constructed the fence, planted the tomatoes. All I did was choose the varieties. So it's been a real fun family project for us. Um, the kids come out every day and check and see what's ripe and what's ready. We bring our little tomato bowl out. All right, want, you guys want to lead the way to the other garden with the squash and stuff in it? Okay, so what we have here, we have um, cucumbers squash, 
be two rows of beans, two rows of peas, and I think butternut squash at the end, right, Ben? Again, my husband did all of this work, um, and he actually even set up a rain barrel with a hose system so that when it rains, it collects the water and it waters the vegetables. Um, and everything's looking so awesome this year. The squash plants are huge already, and we really think it's because of the compost we've been doing for the last, I think, I guess I'd say about a year and a half now. Um, we have two bins worth at this point, right um, adjacent to the garden. And I think I mentioned before that it's reduced our trash by 50%, and we have this beautiful soil now to grow our own vegetables in. These are our herb planters, and like I said, my husband um, built these for me. He just took some old pieces of wood we had lying around and made a basic box planter. And we planted these from seed. Um, we have some chives, some sage, some oregano, um, cilantro, thyme, basil, Bagels. parsley, all the different kinds of things that you might want in the kitchen. So, um, At this point, I think that the pizzas are probably starting to bubble, so we should head in and give them a look. Um, and we might have a couple more minutes on them when we get in there, but let's go check them out. Come on. So we're back and we're going to check on the pieces. I can smell them. They smell delicious. And um, I think that they should be done. Oh, this, these look amazing. Bubbling and gooey and delicious. So those probably baked for, I want to say, about 10 to 12 minutes while we were showing you around the garden. And um, I like to bake them right around 400 to 425. And if you like a crunchy top, sometimes you can just kick the oven onto broil for two to three minutes right before you take them out. And it really gets that cheese really cooked nice and crunchy. So all we have left to do is eat, <laughs> is to cut and eat, right, guys? Okay, this is the best part. Abby, actually, why don't you do this for me, Abby? Why don't you grab the salad off of the counter and toss it up with the dressing? I'm going to bring these onto my board. I have Abby's. I'm going to do Abby's and Ben's first. Bring these over. Okay, is it tossed, Ab? Bring it on over, hon. Okay. That's right, the Parmesan all melts in with the mozzarella and the olive oil. Okay, so Abby's going to serve herself some salad um, while I cut the pizzas. Here you go, Benny. I want a lot of cheese. You want a lot of cheese, okay. Um, like I said, we do this at least once a week in our house. Um, and what you see Abby doing is scooping out some balsamic dressing from the bottom of the salad because she likes, she likes to dip her white pizza in that. Here you go, honey. I'm going to put this on your plate, and I'll help you with that, okay? And this is family pizza night, done Bradley style. Um, white pizza, eggplant, and roasted red pepper pizza. Traditional margarita pizza, or as we like to call it, saucy pizza. And a farm fresh salad with balsamic vinaigrette. Can you guys say thanks for being with us? Thank you. And give a wave. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. I hope you try this at home. It's fun, it's easy, it engages the kids, and we'll see you next time.